How's it going everybody? So today I am making a Mother's Day lamp. And the reason it's a Mother's Day lamp is because I was actually supposed to make this lamp about two months ago and Mother's Day is coming up and I haven't done it yet. So today we're going to get this done. This is the picture she gave me and there's a couple of criteria that she wanted me to change on this. She wanted it a little bit shorter and she also wanted it to be able to fit this existing candle holder that I had made her a couple of years ago. And she also wanted me to change the finish to match it as closely as I can. Okay, now all I'm doing is re-squaring all of the edges while at the same time I'm taking off just the tiniest little bit of the shaving off of each side to make sure everything is nice and square. Also to clean up all the edges because I still have this top and bottom edge that, that is still dirty just from hanging around the shop for so many years and I'm just trying to get down to clean wood so that I have less sanding to do later. Okay, so Ellie, we go like this. Can you go like this? <laughs> what are you making? This is a lamp for now. Cool. This is sort of going to be her Mother's Day present. Uh, Mother's Day is in just a few days. It's on the 10th. Did you know there's actually a Children's Day? Is it Children's Day? Yeah. When? Cyclopedia. Uh, <laughs> uh, I know it's on Saturday, but they don't know. They didn't get me the date. It said, actually, it's June Saturday. It's June Saturday? Yeah. Well, there's probably four Saturdays in June. So you gotta figure out which one it is. I've never like, heard of Children's June. Day. Yeah. I think every Saturday is Children's Day. They get to do what they want. Yeah. Okay. Oh, hi. You gonna come over and see what we're doing? Okay. I can't. I can't keep carving if you're here, baby. Here, you want this? Yeah. Here, you go ahead and go take that. I'll take this one. Okay, it's been about three days now. I didn't like the way this one looked. The styles and the rails ended up way too thick. 
And also, I didn't like where all the knots ended up. It didn't look very nice. Uh, I thought that this was going to end up being taller, but when I did all the measurements, it ended up being a lot shorter. So the thickness doesn't make any sense. And so I rebuilt it, and I think this one looks a lot better. I cut the foot already, and I already cut the top piece where the lamp is going to sit on, so I'm going to have to drill a hole through that and drill a hole through the bottom to fit the wire. And then I can go ahead and sand everything down, and I can start my staining process. I don't want to put any screws in the top, and so I'm going to use a tiny dab of glue and a pin nail for the top. So normally what you'd want to do is you'd want to put a pre-stain on before you start putting your stain on. I'm going to go ahead and skip that because this, is, this project is supposed to be a bit rustic. That was the plan. That's what my mom ordered. Uh, so I'm going to just skip that step. And basically what that does is that gives you a lot more highs and lows. It doesn't even out your stain very much. Mm -hmm. 